Good evening everybody, this is Nelka again and uh, for a very long time I don't have a video for you but today, no, tonight I will teach you some tips and tricks in Dialogs Evo which my colleague Mr. Das Chandranath taught me and it's really amazing and I want to teach this one to you as well because it will help you a lot especially in your lighting layout. So this topic is all about proper labeling of your luminaire. So what does it mean? I will tell you how and why. Okay, if you go if you go to the plan view, you will see that there are lots of different luminaires here, some spotlights, some downlights, some truck lights and some wall washers. So uh, some clients or some designers or architects already have their own label or uh, luminaire type in their plan. So uh, what 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 we're going to do to tonight is we will label our luminaire one by one. So when we export it, it will adapt the proper labeling. Okay, I'd rather teach you how and show it to you rather than um, talking about it all right so let's go for now you go to the light tab here at the top and then you go to the select and then you will find out all your luminaires that you used for this project so you have this one two three four five six seven so it means that you have seven types of luminaires used in this project because you can see those are with the numbers on this on the corner it means it has a quantity on this project those that doesn't have numbers means you did not use it in your project all right and most of the time those uh the, pro the products that you use are all uh, always on the first few rows or columns in your uh, luminaire list so let's go now for example this Onico medium we will label this one as type L1 and then you will say enter so you have to make sure that you go and select the fitting uh, we're done with this one and go to the next one and go and uh, write the type number here in this designation in drawing plan so for example i don't want to be this one as type 2 i want this one to be the type 2. so this is the onico uh, narrow beam optic because the first one is wide beam and this one is a little sorry this is wide flood and this is flood beam so i will make this one as type l2 and then enter then i'll go back again and check and uh, for example i want this one to be the type L3, so type type L3, and then enter. Now you labeled all your luminaires. In uh, original design, some of your clients have their own type name already, so you can just copy that one. For this one, as our example, I just um, imagine those types, types, names, and types numbers. Okay, so once you did your type or labeling, you go to the export and then you will find the magic here. So go to the plans and then let's go and zoom extend. You will you don't want to uh, export the rooms, the um, doors and windows and you want to make your luminaires one layer per product and then you will have the luminar parts list. You don't like the objects to be exported and you want the calculations surface and points because you are concerned with the results table because if you close this one it will also be closed so better it's open because you want the results table as well all right so by the way i'm using dialux evo 8 now in my next video i will uh, tell you some advantages and good features of dialux evo 8 version 8 so let's go with this one now Okay, so after you click everything, you go and say, yeah, the default is 2010, and then you said export to a new file. And then it's exporting now, so let's save this one in my desktop, and let's say this is the Spar Airport Road Lighting Layout. Let's label it Lighting Layout. And then you say Enter. 
and then it will export the CAD file and then it's done so let's go and check my desktop and see how it looks and let's see if my um, labeling is properly indicated so let's go and open this one and we'll say continue opening the drawing and then there you go zoom extend and then you will see okay let's just close this one for now let's turn off this layer so you will see it properly all right so you can see now here in your table you can see the type l oh wait it's not properly arranged type l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 a b c d and e are all properly labeled and you can see it on the plan immediately so i think it's better to just put type I mean L L1 L2 all L3 up to L5 and not to include the word type so it will not very populated in your drawing so that's it that's how you do it and then you just um, export your original drawing here and then you will have your proper table with the proper labeling and then the quantity is there for type L4 for example you have four units or four quantity and then for type L1 is 39 units and so that's it. So that is another tips and tricks using Dialux Evo software. Alright, see you on the next video. Bye.